20 years ago today was a defining moment in Bahamian sports history. On September 30th, 2000, the Golden Girls ran away from the field in the women's 4x1 relay at the Sydney Olympics, securing the Bahamas its first Olympic gold medal since 1964 and the first gold medal as an independent Bahamas. The team of Savathita finds Shonda Stirrup, Debbie Ferguson, Pauline Davis Thompson and LDs Clark Lewis put a silver medal performance four years earlier in Atlanta behind them and proved their gold at the World Championships a year earlier in Seville, Spain was no fluke. LDs Clark was a veteran on that team and still today she finds it hard to put into words. It's quite a feeling and it's very difficult to really express myself because I get extremely emotional. Because when I think of the sacrifice that me personally, what I would have made, because by that time, so you know, I would have had my son. And a lot of times I had to spend, he had spent time with my parents in order for me to do this and to be successful at this. So I understand for young ladies who would have had the same upbringing as I did and the sacrifices that they would have made or they would need to make in order to be successful from us. When you look at this picture, Debbie is from Hay Street. Sabathito is from Abaco. Pauline is from by Fleming Street Clinic. And a girl from Crooked Island Street. And a girl from South Beach. We all came from humble beginnings, but we all wanted to do well. We pushed extremely hard. We sacrificed a lot. We all went to university, graduated with university degrees. And so we really, really, we really, really worked extremely hard to not only be successful on the track, but as we transition into professional women like we are today. So it's a lot of sacrifices and it can be done, but you have to be determined to be successful. Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, the Honorable Anisha Roll, among those paying tribute to the Golden Girls on their 20th anniversary, saying this group of young ladies were truly trailblazers for those who follow in their footsteps. It was the together we will do it moment. It was the together we can succeed moment. And they brought that to reality. And as a result of that, uh, later on, you know, we had the Golden Knights. Uh, we had Tonique Williams Darling. Uh, we had so many other wins. We now have Shawnee because of that strong foundation. And so we want to congratulate them. We want to remember them forever for the uh, for the landmark, for the milestone uh, that they would have made through their sacrifice for the Bahamas and for the people of the Bahamas.